This is our high output heater disc kit, HK1002. This kit is designed to power on when the fuel drops to 34 degrees Fahrenheit and power off once the fuel reaches 72 degrees Fahrenheit. What this will do, it will heat the fuel as the fast system polishes the fuel through the fast filters and through the fuel tank and prevent the fuel from gelling and leaving you on the side of the road. Now before you get your installation started, be sure to log on to FastRide.com and download your installation instructions. Let's get this installation started. Apply the supplied dielectric grease to the relay pigtail, then install the relay. Secure the relay near the firewall in an upright position. Secure the fuse holder near the battery. Using a pair of wire strippers, remove a small section of the insulation from the red and the green wire of the heater harness. Using a pair of wire crimpers, crimp the two ring terminals onto the red and green wire. Now connect the red wire to the positive battery terminal and the green wire to the negative battery terminal. Now something to think about when you're installing the wire harness is how you're going to trigger the heater kit. So what most people do, just use the uh, supplied add a circuit that comes with the kit and hook it to a key on fuse in the fuse panel. You can also hook it the trigger wire to a toggle switch to power it on before the fast system powers on or you could use something like the headlight circuit to where it powers the heater on before the fast system turns on. Now if you decide to go that route uh, and power the heater on before the fast system. What this will do is before fuel starts flowing through the fast, when it's powered on, we'll trigger the heater kit on, and if your fuel's gelled, it can begin thawing the fuel out inside the fast system. That way, when you power your fast system on, it has thawed fuel, and it'll start cycling the fuel through your fuel tank and send thawed fuel up to the injection system. Now locate a key on hot fuse. Install the supplied fuse into the top slot of the ADA circuit. Then remove the selected fuse from the fuse panel and install it into the bottom slot of the ADA circuit. Now place the ADA circuit into the fuse panel. Route the single red wire from the heater harness into the fuse panel and trim as necessary. Using a pair of wire strippers, remove a small section of the insulation from the single red wire, install it into the butt connector of the ADA circuit, then using a pair of wire crimpers, crimp the connection. Be sure to tie up any additional slack or additional wiring nice and neatly away from any hot or moving objects. Route the heater harness along the frame rail and away from any moving objects. Remove the filter that's near the T port or beneath the T block of the fast system. Now remove the filter nipple o-ring. Using a 1 and 1 8 inch socket, remove the filter nipple from the fast system. Apply rubbing alcohol to a Q-tip, then Clean the filter nipple threads in the FAST system. 
Now when you're installing the heater disc onto the FAST system, the metal heater element is going to face down toward the ground. Then the O-ring we supply with the kit will go on top of the heater element right in the O-ring groove and that will seal up against the bottom of the FAST system. Once you have that O-ring groove in place, get your blue Loctite and thoroughly apply that to the fine threads on the supplied filter nipple. Okay, now we're ready to install the heater element onto the FAST system. Install the heater disc onto the FAST system, then using a torque wrench, torque the filter nipple to 10 foot-pounds. Now you can reinstall the filter nipple o-ring and the filter. Connect the heater harness connector to the heater disc. Neatly secure all of the wiring along the frame rail and again away from any hot or moving objects. Before applying power to the heater disc or starting the truck, remove the fuse from the heater harness. Then, start the truck and let it run for 30 seconds or so. Keep in mind, you may need to reprime the FAST system. You can now reinstall the fuse into the heater harness. If you guys have any questions about the heater kit selection or installation process, please don't hesitate to give our technical service department a call. They'll be happy to help.